there is no conflict of interest here we are showing a case of ecirs for anterior lower calcial stone the patient is a 27 year female who presented with right loin pain since one month on evaluation the ctkb showed right side lower pole two stones one stone was dumbbell in shape therefore we suspected infundibular narrowing or a calcial diverticulum this is the axial cut showing the stones in the lower anterior calyx this is the fluoroscopy image showing the stones were faintly radio opaque the axis sheet was placed just beyond the view j as the lower ureter was not favorable also there was a kink in the proximal ureter which was negotiated over a guide wire and the flexible scope was passed into the pelvic axial system after entering the pcs the calyces were inspected and the stones in the lower calyx were identified one stone was freely moving inside the pcs the other dumbbell shaped stone as expected there was infundible and narrowing and the maneuverability of the scope was difficult as the stones the calyx was quite anterior also irrigation fluid outflow was poor lower ureter was not favorable and there was a kink in the proximal ureter due to these reasons we went ahead with pcnl right lower calyx was punctured guide wire passed dilated up to 15 by 16 french using the stars mipm system and a 12 french nephroscope was used the initial stone which was freely moving inside the system was cleared using laser lithotripsy and the dumbbell shaped stone which was in the anterior lower calyx could not be identified after searching for quite some time inside the pelvic axial system inspected all the calyces but the stone could not be identified even after withdrawing the amplat sheath and looking in the anterior and posterior aspects that dumbbell shaped stone could not be identified then we have passed retrograde guide wire and that guide wire was retrieved through the nephroscope and even after that we could not identify the stone after withdrawing the amplat sheath hence retrograde flexible scope was passed and all the calyces were inspected all around the amplat sheath as well so in the fluoroscopy we could see a shadow just close to the amplat sheath and therefore all around the amplats the flexible scope was inspected the amplat sheath was withdrawn under vision and the calyces around were inspected but the stone could not be identified here only fat was visible but the stone could not be identified and slowly the amplat sheath was withdrawn gradually under vision from the flexible scope finally at this point of time the stone was identified since it was in an at an awkward angle again through the nephroscope we could clear the stone using laser lithotripsy since it was coming at 12 o'clock position the laser fiber was difficult to reach and with gentle maneuverability we have reached the stone laser lithotripsy was done fragmented and cleared so this is the calyx which was inspected after the clearing the stone finally nephrostomy was placed and stent was kept so this was all possible because of the modified supine position and we could do simultaneously both retrograde and anterograde approach and achieve complete stone clearance thank you